Today I want to talk about how do I find my location because one thing in the film that can make it or break it is location. It needs to look like a million dollar. Even if you have zero dollar, location is everything. Let's get into it. All my film, like I said, has been done for cheap, but one thing I'm always thinking is it needs to look grand. It needs to look as big as possible. For example, in April Skies, I shot at the Louvre in Paris, you know? It didn't cost me nothing. I just asked permission and I said, it's just gonna be me, my sound person, one actor. I just wanna do a monologue there. And they said, yes. The same thing why I mostly shoot outside is because it costs nothing. And of course, after that, you need to have good story and actors and blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it looks big and it looks maybe intimidating for people. They're gonna think, there's no way I can shoot. The same thing, I, sh I did a film, uh, Runaway, where I shot in the Nobel Prize place. We shot in front of Mont Saint-Michel in France. All those hippie location. Yeah, of course, you know, if you had a crew of 20 people, it's different. For me, the way I shoot and everything that I'm saying is only a, for my style, it's I shoot with just my sound person, my actors, and that's it. So technically we are like four or five people all the time. So we're so discreet, it looks almost like we're just tourists. So that's why sometimes you don't need to ask permission because you're so small, they don't believe you're making a feature film. Find the most amazing location that's gonna change, transform your vision, transform the film, give it a voice, and because all those locations for the audience, it's gonna have an impact. So you have to think about that and never settle for something that looks cheap. A lot of people, sometimes what they do is that they think, oh, I'm gonna find an apartment of my friend. They're gonna find this house, but that's mostly gonna look cheap. You need to think about production design. I cannot tell you how much location I rented with Airbnb because they just look amazing. A lot of people find great design. They took the time to shape it, to bring a lot of decoration. So when you see those pictures, it, it's just amazing, it fits the film. So of course, sometimes you have to pay, you need some kind of budget, but most of it, seriously, maybe 70% 70 70 of the, the time, I don't pay. You just ask. And if you're polite, you're honest, you're transparent, and you show your work. That's why I'm always trying to update my demo reel, just to show, hey, this is the quality of the film. This is how I'm gonna show your place. And uh, so they get excited. It doesn't need to be big or grandiose all the time. It just needs to make sure that it has a production design behind it, that it looks decorated. The fact that I always shoot around the world, it's hard for me. I cannot have the luxury to just go and uh, see those locations in person. I, I just can't. So you have to trust your instinct and you have to trust what you see on picture because it happens all the time that sometimes you find Airbnbs or any kind of location that looks really beautiful in picture. And when you arrive, oh my God, it's so small. It's so different. Or they change the design completely. Oh yeah, that was picture from last year, but they forgot to tell you that everything changed. So it happened, you know, for example, the film, The Art of Telling Lies, I rented a beautiful uh, castle in Germany and on picture, it looks amazing, but when we arrived, it changed completely. The walls were pink, some walls were yellow. It was just all over the place. So instead of freaking out, I did freak out, but instead of just, oh my God, what do I do? Then you adjust. So I've changed the script to make it fit with those pictures for those location. And again, it goes to the point, don't lock yourself to the script, you know, put it, it's just a blueprint. Things are gonna change, things are gonna evolve. I trust myself. I know how to analyze those pictures and I know how, if something goes wrong, how to adapt, how can I change? And Google is one of the best places to just get a perfect idea of what you're gonna get. Location is supposed to inspire you. It's supposed to bring you ideas. You need to save time to shoot more. If you just stick to what you see to the script and get out, I think you're missing something that can bring your creativity. And that's the whole point. You're making a film and I want to shoot new things. I want to have ideas. And the actor loved that sometimes. They say, hey, cool, let's do this, this, this. And they get excited because it's, it's almost like it's fresh, it's new, it's almost like improvisation. We don't know if it's gonna work. If it doesn't work, screw it. It took us, what, five, 10 minutes? But don't block yourself. That's the whole point of shooting and making a film. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be energetic. But if you feel oh, it would be cool if, go. Otherwise, I'm telling you, you're gonna regret it. So force yourself to elevate your game, to elevate almost your eyes to find, is this pretty or not? So anything that is white, beige, anything that is opaque, that is just blend, stay away from that. Really focus and elevate your game to find location that looks stunning, that you need to say with your eyes, wow, that thing looks amazing. If you say that, you're good.